Okay, so let's make a genetic algorithm. Uh, the first thing we're going to need is a function that we're going to try to optimize. Okay, so we're going to have a function of food that takes x, y, and z. Uh, then we're going to return, let's see, something, something that's kind of hard. Let's see, x to the power of 3 plus y. Uh, to the power of 2, and let's just do uh, 90 times z. And let's uh, let's multiply this by 9, just for fun. Okay, perfect. So basically, we have a function that's going to uh, do this uh, calculation, and it's going to return us a value. And what we want is we want to find the x, y, and z that satisfies... Uh, this equation when it equals, uh, let's see, when it equals 25. Yeah, let's do 25. Okay, so uh, we have to find a value where x, y, and z, when we uh, do this calculation here, it's going to give us a 25. And to, to do that, we're going to basically set it to zero. So uh, we're going to subtract 25 from this uh uh, from this expression here, uh, so that when we get the result back, we can uh, basically say, okay, whatever is closer to zero is more fit than uh, what is not. Okay, if that doesn't make sense, just uh, keep watching, you'll, you'll see what I'm doing. So then we have to define a fitness function, and this fitness function is going to take uh, the parameters that we passed into our foo, so x, y, and z, and what it's going to do is it's going to run uh, our function up here, our foo function. It's going to pass the x, y, and z into that. Uh, then what it's going to do is it's going to check if the answer is equal to zero. Uh, then we're going to return a really big number. So let's just say we're going to return 99,000. And if that's not the case, we're going to return... Uh, the absolute value of 1 divided by ands. Okay, so if you don't understand what I'm doing here, uh, basically, uh, we need a way of ranking our, uh, our basically, parameters. So uh, when we pass something into this fitness function, we're asking Python, hey, uh, how good do these parameters uh, do against this function? How close did we get to zero? And if we got exactly to zero, we say, hey, this is 99,000. This is like really good. This is a really good solution. Uh, if not, uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to take one and then we're going to divide it by ants. And the reason for that is because uh, the smaller your denominator is, uh, the bigger the result you'll get. So 1 divided by 0 0.0001 uh, is going to be a pretty big number. So if if you don't really understand what I'm doing, so let's say I have a Python, and I divide uh, 1 by 0 0.001, I get 10,000 from that. So the smaller the number is, uh, well, the smaller the result is, the bigger it ranks. So later on when we sort our results we are able to get a high number based on how close this uh, is going to be to zero uh, also we are taking the absolute value because if we take the absolute value of this then we are able to uh, basically the absolute value lets us have a negative answer and even if it's negative we can still treat it as a positive so I don't care if it's a negative and really close to zero, or if it's a positive and really close to zero, we can treat it the exact same way. Okay, so let's actually uh, get back to it. So next, we are going to generate our solutions. Okay, so this step is really, it's really basic. All you're doing is you're making a bunch of random solutions to this problem. So I'm going to say 4s in range. And I'm going to generate 1,000 solutions just to keep it simple. So uh, actually, I have to define a new list. OK, so let's say in here we are going to say solutions.append. And we're going to append a new tuple into the solution. So this new tuple is going to be a random number. So I forgot to import random. 
Okay, so we're gonna imp we're gonna use a random number, and this is gonna be a uniform, and it's going to be between the sizes of zero and ten thousand. Okay, so this is the X, and then the next one is gonna be another uniform, and this one's gonna be a value from again, it's gonna be from zero to ten thousand. Uh, all of these have to be, uh, they have to be different from each other. You can't have the same uniform for uh, every parameter. So, and then finally we're going to have another uh, uniform. And this one's going to be, again, 0 to 10,000. Okay. I think I have to clean this up a little bit. Okay, perfect. Uh, what's the problem here? I forgot to close this. Okay. So, okay. So basically our solution is going to be a tuple and this tuple is going to have three random numbers. That's essentially what it is. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is we're just going to print the top five solutions just to see what we get. Uh, okay. So we're going to print solutions. We're going to print the first five. So let's run this. Okay, so let's see. As you can see, I'm getting a tuple here with three numbers. I'm getting a tuple here with three numbers. I'm getting a tuple here with three numbers. Okay, so that's that's good. Okay, so what we're trying to do is working. So the next step is to actually do the genetic algorithm. And this genetic algorithm is going to run in steps. So it's going to run once it's going to generate it's going to generate a generation then it's going to run again so we have to do this in the loop so i'm going to say for i in range and the, this is where we define the maximum amount of times that we want to do this and i'm going to let's say i'm going to do this 10,000 times you can set this lower or bigger it's really up to you so now what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, ranked solutions and we're going to make this into a list and we are going to go for every element in our solution for s in solutions and what we're going to do is we're going to append to ranked solutions uh we're going to basically append the fitness function uh, value that we get from um, these tuples basically Uh, we're gonna append the <clears throat> we're gonna append the fitness value. So this is the fitness, and then we are going to also append here uh, the s. So what we want is we want the solution plus we want the plus we want the tuple that we use to get that solution. So now we're gonna close this here, and we're gonna close this here. We're, this is gonna be a tuple. So uh, as you can see, just to make it clearer. Uh, this is a tuple, and this tuple contains uh, the ranking of the solution that we got from uh, these values that we passed into the fitness function plus the tuple of the parameters. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, rank solutions.sort. I'm going to sort this, and then we are going to reverse this... Uh, we're going to reverse this list because it's going to go from the smallest to the biggest. What we want is we want the biggest first, then the smallest. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to print. And then we are going to use an F string. And we are going to print uh, gen i best solutions. Okay. So this is, uh, yeah, okay, so this is taking the best, we're, we're basically getting the best ranked solutions here. And then down here we are getting, uh, we're, we're basically printing out the best solutions. So let's actually just print a couple of them. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm going to print the top one, actually, not all of them. Okay, so solutions, not, not solutions, ranked solutions. And I am going to print the... Actually, I'm just going to, yeah, the first one. Okay. So it, it's going to be random because 
every iteration of this loop, we're not really doing anything else. It's just going to give you the same thing. So I can run this, but it's basically going to loop over the same solution over and over again. So as you can see, uh, we got uh, a ranking of nine for this. No, actually, it's uh, no, it's actually a pretty small ranking. But yeah, we are using these. We're using these values to check against our fitness function. And our fitness function is telling us these values give us the ranking of this. Okay, let's actually close that. Okay, so what's the next step? Uh, the next step is going to be to uh, combine the best solutions and make a new solution from those combined solutions. So let's say uh, we're gonna go, uh, let's actually, no, I'm gonna keep this actually. Okay, so the next step is gonna be, we are gonna combine the best solutions in our uh, solution set and we're, we're going to make a new solution based on those old solutions that were uh, good enough in our opinion. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, best solutions. Uh, then we're going to say this is equal to ranked solutions. And we are going to take the top 100. So the top 100 ranked solutions we're going to assign to the list best solutions. Then what we're going to do is we are going to go um, into a loop and we're going to basically extract every solution. So let's say uh, elements and this elements list is basically going to hold all of the best solutions in in the not the best solutions, but the, the best uh, parameters for the solution. So, for example, for elements element in elements. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to append, no, not elements, god damn it, okay. For best solutions, for element in best solutions. Actually, let's just say S, for S in best solutions. Uh, we are going to append, uh, let's see, elements dot append. Uh, then we are going to append S. And then we're going to say uh, the first index and then we're going to say zero. So basically we're extracting all of the uh, parameters we used for our function here. And when we do that, we are going to have basically a big list of uh, a big list of parameters that we used. And from this, we are going to uh, we're going to combine new solutions. So. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to say new generation is equal to um, a new list. And then for, put an underscore because I don't really care about this. Uh, I don't care about this uh, induction value here. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, basically take a random element. So let's say element one is equal to random dot choice. And then we are going to go into our elements and we are going to just take a random one. And then element two is going to be random dot choice elements. And then element element three is going to be random dot choice elements. Okay. And then we're going to make a new solution here by saying, okay, new gen dot append. And then we're going to add the solution uh, as a tuple. So, it's going to be E1, E2, and E3. Okay, perfect. And then down here, we are going to... Okay, let's see. Solutions, uh, rank solutions. Okay, so I guess down here, we're going to assign uh, ranked solutions to new gen. Okay, and that should work, I think. Okay, let's actually try this. Now it didn't work. What did I miss? Oh yeah, I have to, I have to, okay, my bad. So uh, another thing you have to do is you have to basically uh, mutate the solution. So we're gonna say random dot uniform and we are gonna, uh, we're gonna mutate this by 2%. So we're gonna mutate uh, all of our solutions by 2% just to give them some uh, diversity. Okay, let's actually get this running. Hmm, okay. 
that doesn't work. Why not? Oh no, okay. We have to assign this to solutions. Okay, let's uh let's stop that and let's run it again. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's see. So it's uh, slowly uh, slowly finding the optimal solution. Let's see how long it's going to take. It's probably going to take a minute or so. Oh, oh. Uh, do, do you see how the rank is getting higher? Do you see how uh, basically... Oh, actually, whoops. Okay, the thing I missed here is uh, if we find something that's good enough, we want to basically stop this uh, loop. So... Uh, let's say, uh, so if this ranked solution, uh, if uh, if this ranked solution is good enough, if if the top solution is good, good enough for us, we are basically going to stop. So if this is greater than 999, well actually 999, this is good enough, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to break out of this because we basically found something that's good enough for us. We don't want to find... The perfect solution we want to find something that's good enough so let's run this okay so we're going back to our solutions we're on generation 200 and uh, yeah it's slowly uh, it's slowly uh, okay let's see so it found this solution and this solution is okay let's see if this works so let's copy this and let's look at our function so our function look whoops so our function looks like this. Okay, so Python 3, and then let's uh, take our values here and let's uh, check them against uh, this uh, function. So let's see, six times x, and then we are going to cube that, and then add that to nine times y, and we are going to square that, and then we're gonna add that to uh, 90 times the solution. Hit enter, and then we get 24.9999. You know what? For me, that's good enough. And I hope you enjoy watching this video. And uh, thanks for watching.